Yo, what is up guys? It's Elite Shot here, aka Sean, bringing you guys another Let's Be Honest video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about lagging or laggers, people that lag, bad connections, low connection bars in Call of Duty. We all know this, we all experience this because it seems to happen so much in Call of Duty where you have a bad connection. Your bars, you have a one bar, two bar connection, red bar connection, whatever you guys call it, connections suck. And it's crazy how much of a difference having a bad connection really makes in Call of Duty. If you have a 2 bar or 1 bar connection versus a 4 bar connection player, you're most likely getting a beat out every single time because it seems like he kills you before you can even see him. Or like a split second or so because if you watch the kill cam, you'll be behind the wall but it still shows on their screen that you're right in front of them and that you're just standing there doing nothing. Or if you get in a gunfight and you meet each other 1v1, on your screen, it shows that you're both seeing each other at the same time, but on his screen, it sees that he sees you first, and he kills you without you doing anything. Not even taking any shots, even if you hit him on your screen, on his screen, he didn't take any damage at all. And that sucks, because having a bad connection pretty much means you're gonna do bad in the game. I rarely ever do good with a bad connection. If I don't have a 4 bar or at least a 3 bar connection, I won't do that great at all. And if I ever have below a 3 bar connection, I'm probably gonna back out of the game because it's not even worth staying. If my bolts aren't connecting, if I can't even feel like I can hit the enemies, I'm not gonna stay in the game because it's pointless. I try to join games where my ping is 50 or 75 ms. Whenever you try joining a lobby, it'll say, when you're trying to find the game, it'll say, like, trying to find game at 50 ms. If it can't find the game, it'll hop up to 75, and then 100 or 125, something like that. And it keeps going higher and higher. And the higher the ms is, the more bad the connection's gonna be, or the worse the connection's gonna be. So you wanna try to find a game at the minimum 50 ms, or at least 75. Anything higher than that is almost too bad to play, and it's not even worth trying to play. There's a few ways to improve your connection, and the best way to improve it is having a wired connection. Having your ethernet cable go directly from your modem into your Xbox. That's the best way to get internet, or at least faster internet. You can also upgrade your speed, get faster internet, which can be pretty pricey. I have Verizon Fios, and I have like the little triple plan thing where we get the phone, television, and internet, and it costs like $180 a month, but I get 75 download and I believe 35 upload, so it's pretty damn quick. And I have one gigabyte per second transfer rate, so I have pretty great internet. And I noticed a great, massive improvement when I went from wireless to wired because I had wireless for the longest time. And I didn't realize how much better wired connection really was. So if you guys can, definitely try to go wired. You'll notice a massive increase in your internet speed and you'll have better connections in games, making you be able to do better online. Whenever you're playing Call of Duty, you can also turn off any other applications, any other devices that are hooked up to your wireless internet because that can also deter on your speeds. The more devices hooked up to the wireless, the slower your speeds will be on the Xbox. So you want to make sure that when you're on the Xbox, that your laptop, your computer, any other devices, your iPhone, is not connected to the Wi-Fi because that will slow down your internet speeds. Those are just a few things you can do to improve your speeds. I'm sure there's more out there. You guys can comment below saying how else you can improve your speeds because lagging in Call of Duty is one of the worst things. Having a bad connection sucks because you can't get good gameplays and it just is not a good time. But that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guys have any other series, topic, ideas, say so below. If I see it most often, that's what I'll talk about next. But as I always say, guys, it's Elite Shot here, aka Sean, your friendly kind fanboy, signing out. Peace.